Hello, everybody. Welcome along. It is round 42 of 46 in the EFL Championship. You know the season is coming to a close when it's sunny outside and the games are kicking off in the bright sunlight. That's where we are right now. A pivotal, potentially vital night in the championship. We've got six games tonight. We've got six games tomorrow. And our focus in the watch along is Leeds United versus Sunderland. Get yourself comfortable. We're going to be here for the next two and a half hours looking over this game and everything that goes on in the championship and I'm sure many of you will be watching the Champions League as well tonight. Welcome to the Watch Along. Good evening, everybody. We are live here on YouTube. Do hit the thumbs up button. Hello, everybody up there on TikTok as well. Big welcome. We're going to try and be across everything, reading out all of your comments. Let's immediately say hellos to you and Alex, Liam, Robin, um, Plucky Chicken, Dave, Purple Bungalow. Welcome. Get that chat moving straight away. Get the chat going in the... Um, TikTok as well. We're really pleased to see all of you. Nick Knack as welcome. Yeah, bash that like. Right. Let's have a look at what's going on in the championship tonight. It is a big one because look at the top there. Millwall versus Leicester City. That is the leaders Leicester at a relegation threat. And Millwall, we've got Plymouth QPR. Massive. Either team wins that, then we're boosting their chances of survival greatly aren't we? Uh, Preston versus Huddersfield. Massive for Huddersfield down the bottom. Preston still in with a chance of the playoffs. Sheffield Wednesday versus Norwich. Massive Wednesday in the relegation zone. Norwich in the playoff spot. Implications, storylines everywhere tonight. Southampton, Coventry. We think Southampton look nailed on to finish in fourth place. They could put a run together still. The challenge for the top two. They're probably going to go and have to win at Leeds and at Leicester if they want to do that in the running. But it's the championship. Coventry are chasing Norwich for that sixth place. Massive, massive, massive implications everywhere. Um, and then our game tonight, which kicks off at 8 p.m., Leeds versus Sunderland. Um, Sunderland actually maybe have the least to play for um, out of everybody there. They're kind of slap bang in the middle, but Leeds, absolutely have a lot to play for. I think uh, we'll, we'll check the table in just a second. Um, I think just a draw and Leeds are back into the top two. And Leeds and Leicester will certainly be looking to put the pressure on Ipswich Town, who play tomorrow night at Watford. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able uh, to get down to that game. I've had the all clear from HQ. It's just a matter of getting down there now. Say some more hellos. Clive, welcome. Uh, Bella in the chat. Godlike, welcome. Uh, who else haven't we said hello to? We haven't said hello to Kev. Welcome down there. Fear the worst, but our season is over. Anyway, right. Quickly before we kick in, um, let's try and have some fun on match bingo tonight because absolutely free is the bingos game. So I'd love you to head over to um, the match bingo app. Follow this here QR code. Um, if you're on TikTok, you can um, you have to bring bring YouTube open or just head to Match Bingo anyway. Um, that's not going to work unless I remove that off the bottom. There you go. You can see the whole of the QR code now. And it's completely free. Cost you absolutely nothing to get a Bingo's card. Here is mine. You see that there on TikTok as well. In fact, I think you both see that if I do that. So... All I've got is a load of teams and they've just got to score a goal. We have got a £275 prize pot as well. Two £100 jackpots. I can only see one championship team in there. Can I? Yes, I can. Sheffield Wednesday. I need a goal from Wednesday. And we're the first person to tick them all off. Plenty else going on over on 
match bingo. But that is what I'd love you to play along with tonight. Head over to match bingo. Play along with bingos. And then if you want to get a bit more involved, a couple of £1,000 jackpots in the Premier League this weekend. Uh, Newcastle, Spurs, Arsenal, Aston Villa. £2 a game for that. Please... Play responsibly. You know the rules. Now, we're early tonight. We've come in half an hour before kickoff because we feel this is a really big night and we want to look across everything. So the last thing we're going to get to is Leeds v Sunderland. But the first thing we're going to do before we um, sort of rifle through the team news that we've got already is look at the league table. Remember, Leeds and Sunderland. Sorry, I've got a got a throat sweet. I always lose my voice doing these watch-alongs. I'm kind of, I've got half a cheek um, sticking out, don't I? There we go. Um, but yeah, Leeds Sunderland, sorry, lost my train of thought there. The only um, game to kick off at eight o'clock tonight. All the other five games kick off at 7.45. Here is your league table going into tonight. There are Leicester City at the top of the table in pole position with a game in hand and a two-point advantage um, over Leeds United in third, their um, nearest challenges outside the automatic spots. We know it can flip, but Leicester are in a very strong position right now. If they can match Ipswich and Leeds up to their game in hand, uh, which is against Preston, uh, no, sorry, game in hand against Southampton, they could be promoted in their game against Preston in round 45. If you look, they can get a four-point lead going into round 46. It is done. Leicester would be up. Ipswich and Leeds would be able to do nothing, include Southampton in the conversation, maybe as well on the final day. Ipswich play tomorrow. They are sitting ducks here. Um, they've got the night off. So Leeds will be hoping to overtake them. You can see there in our uh, watch-along game. And look. Big goal difference advantage for both Leicester and Leeds. That's despite Ipswich being the top scorers in the league. They have conceded many more goals than Leicester and Leeds. So even, and we will get down to this, maybe as we come into the last days of the season, maybe it won't be that close. But um, anything equal, um, and Ipswich don't have the goal difference advantage. And let's be fair. They're not going to make up 10, 11 goals in the um, final five games of the season, are they? Uh, so Southampton play as well tonight against Coventry. Southampton desperately need to win. Look at that one point in, sorry, two points in the last three games. Uh, Leeds have picked up four in that time. Ipswich have picked up six, so have Leicester. So Southampton have had a bit of a wobble over the last three games. Um, we don't have West Brom in action. They play tomorrow, but they do play Rotherham, who are already relegated and guaranteed to finish bottom. And Norwich City play tonight. We've already mentioned Coventry play tonight as well. And Preston play tonight. Norwich hold the higher ground, but there is a game in hand for Coventry, Hull and Preston. If they can stay within six points of Norwich and win their game in hand, then they are within one game of them, their Canaries, who are holding sixth place. But Norwich in a very good form. They are better away from... Sorry, they're better at home than they are away from home. Look at this bun fight down at the bottom. My God. Rotherham down. Guaranteed to finish bottom. Forget about Rotherham. Poor old Rotherham. Going to be in League One next season. Very good when they're in League One, by the way. Sheffield Wednesday play tonight. Birmingham do not play tonight. Huddersfield play Preston tonight. Millwall play tonight. Plymouth and QPR. That is also tonight, isn't it? Uh, Blackburn play tomorrow and Swansea play tomorrow. So we could get some movement. Could be a bad night for Birmingham, who are sitting ducks and in the bottom three. Uh, Shepherd Wednesday would just need a point to overtake Birmingham. They wouldn't get out of the bottom three with a point. Uh, Huddersfield will be looking for a big bounce. Um, Millwall's an interesting one, isn't it? You have a scenario tonight where if Sheffield Wednesday were to win, Huddersfield were to win, and uh, Millwall were to lose, 
they would go beneath those two teams and therefore into the bottom three, along with Birmingham City, who would then drop to 23rd. The real interesting one, I think as well, well, say the real interesting one, there are many, many interesting wrinkles down here. Plymouth QPR, look at that. Surely that is the light at the end of the tunnel, just at the end of this game for either of those teams. Gets a 47 or 49 QPR there. Plymouth could get to 47, QPR could get to 49. Either of those teams can get a win tonight. Surely, surely three teams aren't going to get more than 47 points. Surely. Stranger things have happened, I know. But after that big bump a couple of months ago where people were telling me, Ben, 48, 49, you're going to need 50 points to stay up. Maybe it's just come down a little bit the last few weeks. Um, Brilliant. I can see the comments filling up. I must acknowledge a wonderful super chat there from Robin. Um, 10 Aussie dollars, I think. Thank you so much. Have a great night of chaotic championship football. You have got, got to love it. Uh, you and 50 points to stay up. Evening to Mark. Evening to Lee in the chat. All the members here. Clive as well. Jake, got a channel legend. You don't know what Jake does behind the scenes to help this channel. Give Jake. Um, a big thumbs up in there as well. Nick Nat, auto long gone for Saints. Need to win every game and that won't happen. Godlike, uh, what's crazy to me, no matter how good third has done, they're going to get stuck. At, that's the deal. I'll never go back on my opinion. I love the playoffs. So that's the deal. I spoke to Don Goodman about it the other day. Everyone knows at the start of the season, no top two. You've got no right to automatic promotion. You've got to win in those playoffs. Mike, another channel legend. He bought me this chair, Mike, because he knew my neck was a load of crap. Thank you. Mike needs wins for Sunderland and Millwall as well. Amos can see Leicester dropping points today. Lee, you got to stop this, Lee. He's already a member, bless him, so he contributes monthly, but always super chats as well. Lee, thank you so, so much um, for your support, Lee. It's too, too kind, my friend. Um, I think he's still giddy on Coventry's great win at the weekend. Right, let's look at some team news. Uh, top two predictions you can find elsewhere on the channel. But I did go, I went Leicester top, no, I went Leeds top, Leicester second, Ipswich third before the international break. But look, come on, man. Changed my mind every round now, don't I? Uh, Norwich to beat Wednesday 2-0, says Michael. Um, Dave, hopefully three points for Stoke. Stoke are playing well. Um, Eddie over on Twitter, uh, would you start Al Hamadi ahead of more tomorrow? I wouldn't, Eddie, but it sounds like you would by the by the question. Um, I've been wrong many times. I could be wrong um, again about that. Look at that, Leeds United, last nine results at home. Complete winning streak there for Leeds. Incredible um, form from them. Right. Let's have a quick look at some team news and then um, we will do some predictions and focus properly on Leeds United versus uh, Sunderland. Um, anybody think Millwall away could be hard for Leicester? I don't know. Intimidating place when the team are going. The fans are always loud there. They're always hostile, but the team has to turn up as well. 4-4 F in two, Neil Harris. Can they get up Leicester City? They go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a game of football with Leicester City. Millwall will get battered, won't they? But they make it a fight. Millwall can beat pretty much anyone, especially down at the Den. They're not beating pretty much everyone, anyone at the moment, excuse me. But there's your Millwall team there. Uh, Sarkic, Leonard, Tanganga, Cooper, McNamara, Honeyman, Savile, Mitchell, Longman, Fleming and Oberfamey. But... Set piece threat always for Millwall, especially now Neil Harris has come back. There's your Leicester City team. A Manson in goal, Ricardo, Fass, Vestergaard, Callum Doyle. Uh, some brilliant players, haven't they? Leicester Winks and Dewsbury Hall and Ndidi. Uh, Mavadidi, Jamie Vardy makes the start. And Akun, an interesting starter there. Normally Fatawu down that side for Leicester City. Could Millwall take anything from Leicester tonight? Let me know 
what you think in the comments. I love this matchup. Uh, Plymouth v QPR, which apparently has just a second ago uh, kicked off. Hi, guys, on TikTok. I'm in between two, but we'll try and um, say hello. Tommy, no chance. I think he's talking about Millwall there. If that's the Tommy I know, he knows a lot about Millwall, so I'll bow to his superior knowledge. Uh, there is your Plymouth QPR lineup. So let me know how you see that one going. Uh, Plymouth, we did them on Friday, didn't we? Brilliant win against Rotherham, which sent the Millers back down to League One. Cooper, Phillips, Scar, Gibson, Mumba, Edwards, Houghton, Randell, Whitaker, Hardy, Wright. I think that's unchanged, isn't it, from Friday night? Correct me. Have we got any Argyle fans in the chat? But I think that's unchanged. Uh, for Rangers, Begovic, Dunn, Cook, Goal Machine, Fox, Paul, Smith, Hayden, uh, Stickfield in central midfield, by the way. Footmob's got that all wrong, hasn't it? Anderson, Chair, and Lyndon Dykes. Uh, let's view a couple of comments after we've looked at a couple of, of those. Right, guys, you've got to follow this man. This is my mate, Chris, who is brilliant on the stats. He's got everything covered um, there. So go and give him a follow. Chris, what's your Twitter? I can't remember what your Twitter handle is, but he's a fantastic follow, Chris. He is Ipswich like me, but um, if you fire your questions at him and he can get his spreadsheet going, he will give you virtually any stat you can ask for, which is very helpful uh, to me. Uh, Leeds have to play round 42, 3, 4 and 5 before Ipswich. Does that take the pressure off? Is it nice for Ipswich to know what they have to do to match Leeds? Proof's in the pudding, Chris, isn't it? Um, I think whatever happens, all the pressure goes on Ipswich, though, doesn't it? If Leeds score between 9 and 12 points from their four games, the pressure's massively on Ipswich because they need to post the big total in the last um, game week, the three-game week. And if uh, Leeds were to mess it up a little bit, maybe score six points in the four games, then the pressure is again on Ipswich because it's like, oh, the door is wide open. Just need to do this for promotion and that deranges teams, doesn't it? And people start falling over. Uh, Owen, think Leicester will win, but they will spend an hour of the game trailing and Mavadita will win it. That's accurate. Someone put a bet on that. Please gamble responsibly. I like the idea. Clive, we'll get into um, Leeds and Sunderland teams in a bit, but there it is up in the chat. Uh, Kev, Mula, angry Lions, but they can tame the Fox. Foxes, every Ipswich fan hopes. Well, they do, don't they? They really do. Ian. Ian's a bit of a legend on the channel here. Real staunch Rotherham fan. We know we're going to see you back in two years, don't we, um, Ian? Or two, not this season, next season. You know what I mean, don't you? There we go. Interesting. Fox at centre-back ahead of Clark Salter. Uh, the lower league look. Watch League 2-2. Two, two. Try and explain that to someone who didn't speak English, the... The two different twos there. Said the same way means something very, very different. Uh, thank you for all the comments up there on TikTok. We'll try and kind of respond. I'll try and... It's easier when the game's on and I'm looking down there to see what's going on up there. Uh, let's do some more team news and we can get some more of your comments. Um, also, guys, let me know if you prefer this half an hour before a watch along as opposed to the 15 I normally do. It does seem I've got a bit more time to read your comments and put a little bit more um, sort of analysis in pre-game. So let me know if you're a fan of that. There are your Preston and Uddersfield teams. Preston, Woodman and Gola have kicked off, remember. Uh, Story, Lindsay, Cunningham, Hughes, Holmes, Brady, McCann, Keane, Prokia and Jakobsen. Uh, for Huddersfield, Nichols. Spencer, who's really good, actually. He'll be in my, um, no doubt, my under-21 players to watch, wonder kids to watch video for next season, providing Huddersfield are still around. Um, Pearson, Helic, the goal machine from centre-back. Uh, Jackson, Matos, Kasumu, Wiles, Thomas, the set-piece guru, Bergsog and Josh Karoma. Uh, you like the 30 minutes. OK. If I get a few more comments saying you like the 30 minutes pre-game, 
we'll do that. I must admit, I do feel a bit more uh, relaxed. I must get to the predictions, though, before we get to about 5-2. But I think I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, here are your Sheffield Wednesday and Norwich lineups. Uh, Beadle, Iorfa, Ehequa, Diaby, Famewo is the keeper and back four for Sheffield Wednesday. Palmer, Bannon, Kasama, Musaba, Windas, and Smith. For Norwich, uh, Gunn, Stacey, Danny Bart in. Interesting. Gibson, McCallum, Nunez, the winner in the East Anglian Derby, McLean. Sarah, Barnes, Science, and the main man, Josh Sargent. Give, give, give me your thoughts on any of these team news and games we're talking about. The last one before we can get to our main event here, which is Leeds versus Sunderland. Kicking off at 8 p.m. is Southampton versus Coventry. Uh, surprise, surprise, in the first six minutes of this, Southampton have had 70 percent of possession so far what are you going to do hey um there is your Southampton team Bazunu, Bree back from suspension Howard Bellis Stevens Walker Peters why is he not in the team recently God. uh Smallbone Downs Erebo David Brooks gets a start Che Adams and I think 30 plus goal contributions now for Adam Armstrong what a great player he is at championship level. There's your Coventry City team. Can they get closer to Norwich in sixth place tonight? Uh, ben, we all love Leeds. Uh, Lewis, as a Sunderland fan, I can safely say we are going to get battered. Some comments there on TikTok. Appreciate you guys up there. Um, right, where's my Coventry team? Collins, Latabodie, Thomas, Kitching, Bidwell. What a clearance by Bidwell at the weekend, by the way. Sheaf, he's excellent, isn't he? Eccles. Can never tell the two of those two apart. They run the same. They look the same. Uh, Van Evick, O'Hare, had you right? Is Van Evick playing a bit further forward now, or is that actually a three at the back and he's playing wing back? Hmm. Uh, Sims, a goal machine up top at the moment. Um, I suspect that's more a three-four-one-two, isn't it? Or however, um, however you see that playing out, right? I think we're just about there now. Seven minutes to kick off. So let's get on to the main event. I was expecting to have told you about a goal yet, but no goals in the first six or seven minutes of our matches tonight. Tonight. La, 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 tonight. Some new kids on the block for you. Where are we going there? What, 1989? Someone fact check me on that. New kids on the block tonight. Maybe 1990. I'm going to go 89. Anyone want to fact check me on that? Um, here are your teams in um, big game tonight. You'd make Leeds pretty strong favourites, as a few of you pointed out. Sunderland fans not very confident given their recent form and the fact that Leeds have a hell of a lot more to play for. But sometimes that can derange, can't it? The pressure all goes on Leeds. You never know. Uh, Sunderland play free. <laughs> but can they keep up the intensity? Uh, Melier in goal for Leeds. Gray, who's probably going to win Young Player of the Year. Rodon, Ampadu, Firpu, um, Gruev and Kamara. I think Kamara got hooked at half time, didn't he, at the weekend. James, Ruter, Somerville, who I think, now maybe Tewsbury Hall will win it, but Somerville may win Player of the Season um, as well. Uh, Pat Bamford still up top. I think the Leeds fans. Maybe want a change there, but we shall see. Uh, Sunderland, Patterson in goal. Like him. Hume, O'Neill, Ballard and Pembele, Equa and Neil. The Wonder Kid, Chris Rigg, Styles, Jack Clark returns to the place he came through. And Bellingham up top. So they still just never, never, never have a striker. Do they, um, Sunderland? But, hey, it's how the squad's built. False nine duties for Job Bellingham. I need your predictions, you lot, for Leeds United versus Sunderland. It is our main match on the channel. So, you've got one job here. 
and needed to type the team names in as well in your comments. We had a missed penalty at Southampton. Oh, God, we have. Hachi Wright has missed the pen. I think it might be a double kick. One of those ones where he slipped over and kicked it twice. He put it against the bar, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. But it looks like a missed penalty for Coventry City. Um, obviously, I don't have the sound on. So, I mean, it looked like he kicked it twice as well. One of those just lost his lost his foot in. So, you end up um, giving a free kick away, uh, essentially. Um, what was I saying? Predictions, predictions, predictions. So, team Nate, look, here's a good example. Uh, there you go, Ian. Leeds three, Sunderland nil. Right, get your predictions in. I want them all to arrive at the same time, so I'm going to give you 16 seconds to do it. Predictions in, and stick them on TikTok as well if you want. Right, predictions, predictions. I'd imagine we'll be heavy on Leeds here. It'd be a shock if this was anything other than a Leeds United win tonight. But again, as I say, the end of the season deranges. And that stadium can derange. I've seen it before sometimes. And you can get a shocker. I'd be very surprised, though. We got a goal for Norwich, possibly flicked on by Barnes. Sargent sticks it in to the back of the net. Looks like Norwich are leading early on. At Sheffield Wednesday, they are in outstanding form, Norwich, aren't they? That's bad for Wednesday. They're in the bottom three. They'll only have four games to play after tonight. But Norwich is a hard game for anybody at the moment. Right, where are your predictions, you lot? Right, here we go. Uh, so we already saw Ian's run. Clive, 4-2 leads. Alex and Jace, heavy on leads, 3-0. Uh, Kev leads, 2-0. Uh, Led Zepp's got leads by three. So is Mark. So is Ewan. Tom, there we go. We got one for Sunderland. Don't know whether that's his head or his heart. Uh, leads by three for Lee, by five, for goodness sake. Yeah, we just seen the Norwich goal. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, Graham, yeah, um, I think that might be an emotional one. Uh, heart overhead, that one. Uh, Desmond, uh, Lioness is 2 0 up. Uh, I presume on a different channel than we're watching. Uh, Liam, 2-0 Leeds, 3-0 Leeds, as you can imagine. We are heavy, heavy, heavy on um, Leeds tonight. There's a draw in there, Dave. 3-1 uh, Leeds. They are strong, strong favourites, Leeds, who lost their first game in 16. Been in outstanding form since the turn of the year for 2024. Help me out, guys. Always ask you to do this, and you always, always oblige but it really helps out big style if you can hit the like button but save it for one second and we'll all hit it at the same time okay um and we call that a like spike so in a second i'm going to hit a little stinger hopefully the sound is not on here and we're going to get disturbed we are not uh, we have currently well i've just hit like as well because i'm a loser who likes my own videos 38 I wonder, can we get up to 50 likes? You lot have got nine seconds to hit the like button. It's like spike time as the players are out at Elland Road. Nine seconds to hit like, see if we can get to 50. Go, 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 go. Uh, we'll let that run round a little bit longer. Do hit that thumbs up button. Support the channel. There are many ways to do that. The main one is by talking in the chat over there, keeping that debate going. If you can hit the like button as well, amazing. If you can super chat, even more amazing. Or support one of our fabulous sponsors at Match Bingo. Or which way do I point? There we go. Beer 52. I'll talk to you a bit about Beer 52. I joke about this. When um, one of the players sits down on about 20 minutes and we have our tactical stop that we seem to have in every game um, this season, I'll do the beer 52 plug then. But lots of people are on their second box. Where am I pointing? There we go. Of beer 52. Bristol Rovers nil. Reading one. Newport one. Stanley nil. Thank you, Ian, for the update. So I'm going to look a little bit over here and I'm going to see 
the master of championship promotions is Daniel Farker, who is looking for his third and potentially his third title as well. I think Neil Warnock's got four promotions from tier two to tier one. Steve Bruce also four. A few playoffs involved in theirs. I think Warnock with Notts County was playoffs, wasn't it? Um, with Sheffield United, that was second, wasn't it? Someone correct me in the chat. Cardiff was second. QPR finished first under Warnock. Um, Stevie Bruce, definitely playoffs with Hull. Playoffs twice with Hull? No. Maybe Bruce got automatic three times. Someone fact check me in the chat. I'm normally wrong, aren't I? Uh, right. Either way, Daniel Farker is going for an unprecedented third championship title. All he's got to do is outgun Leicester and Ipswich over the remaining five games. Remember, Leicester have six, though. Um, let's all get comfortable then. We're in here for the next hour and a half. It's Leeds versus Sunderland. We'll stick the nil-nil up on the screen. Any kind of positive result for Leeds will take them into the top two. Anything other than a win, though, would be seen as faltering, as it is in any game at this point in the season. Are we ready? It is kickoff at Elland Road. Ampadu knocks that back home to Melier. Some doubt as to whether Ampadu was going to be fit for Leeds, but we're just at the point in the season now where I suspect even if you're 60% fit, you're, you're playing, aren't you? you just got to get through it and do your bit for your team now. If you're walking, you're playing, I think. Norwich 2 nil up. They're on fire. Um, Norwich, aren't they? If anyone can let me know who scored... Norwich is second. In fact, I can check myself. Borja Steins. What a start. But Norwich have already had five shots and four on target and scored twice in the first 16 minutes. They are really going to be hard for anybody in the playoffs, Norwich. They are in brilliant form. Uh, we are watching Leeds Sunderland on Sky Sports Football Live HD. We can give you a timestamp if you ask for one in the comments. If you're watching on Now TV, if you're watching on your smart TV, uh, you may be a little bit behind. So we can give you a time to think. Also, the people on TikTok tell me TikTok's always a little bit ahead, maybe a delay uh, given to YouTube. But don't worry, no need for a delay here. No, no bad language, old behave. Uh, Manchester City, a goal up, says Paul. They are playing Real Madrid, I believe, in the La Ligue du Championnat. Bernardo Silva in two minutes and goals flying in. Now, Richard says 1-0 Saints. Uh, and that, after commentary, had missed a penalty. Had you right, slipping over and missing a free shot at goal for Kov. Um, how many minutes into that game was it? Uh, in the 10th minute, they've then conceded in the 18th minute. Uh, here come Leeds, some of it. Fearpo. Fearpo steps inside. He just gets um, a little nick there. And uh, Pembele is whistled. And it's a free kick to Leeds United. Ampadu, Somerville. Some of it, a nice little outside of the foot. Leeds starting to build up a bit of possession here. We're expecting them to have lots. <laughs> Somerville, again, potential player of the year in the final three with Smodic and Dewsbury Hall. Had a good debate with um, Just Joe on his channel the other day about that. You can make an argument for all three of them, can't you? I think what Smodic has done is the most difficult, i.e. scoring 20 goals for Blackburn, but that's 
not the award, is it? It's not who did the most difficult thing. It's who's the best player in the league. Right. I think we're going to see the Sunderland goal in the picture in picture here. Um, is that Walker Peters? Oh, it's muggy one. Deflected. I think it deflected in off Shay Adams. Uh, they're appealing for offside. We're only going to get one look at that. Uh, how much you bet in? Norwich won't win six or seven tonight as well. What are the Owls doing? Um, I mean, Norwich are heading for six or seven, aren't they? But they do have it in them to just lock it up, Norwich, don't they? Doing a mighty good job, David Wagner, since, um, I was going to say since early November, but since he got Josh Sargent back, um, been fantastic, Norwich. Uh, so Leeds Sunderland is nil nil. Uh, four minutes and eight gone. Thank you, everybody who's here on YouTube, everybody up there on TikTok as well. Do get your comments in on TikTok. I'll try and read. Um, I'll try and read them as they come in. Obviously, I'm cross purposes here. Uh, Somerville into Ampadu. Uh, Sunderland basically haven't strung two passes together in the last. I don't know, two and a half minutes. So this does bode well for Leeds. They're just going to have to patiently keep moving that ball around and you would think they're going to get the opening goal unless there's some mad counter-attack uh, from Sunderland. It's not been long to root here, but he has shoved um, in the back Dan Ballard. Unorthodox player, sometimes root here. That can be a good thing. If the opponents don't know what he's going to do next, that can be a bad thing. If his teammates don't know what he's going to do next. Say 21, I think, uh, Jorginho Ruter. There is Mike Dodds, Sunderland's interim manager. Feels like they've thrown the towel in a bit on their season. Sunderland planning for the next one. Tom, not a fan of the Sunderland kit. Oh, I don't mind it, Tom. But everyone knows my fashion sense is atrocious, don't they? Do you know what? I got my missus to dress me. Um, was it yesterday morning? She chose this top. I said, do you want to choose my outfit, darling? She's like, yep, I suppose I'd better. Always helpful. Melier. Oh, Leeds. I reckon it's 99% possession in the last three minutes. Keep your comments coming. Sheffield Wednesday, nil. Norwich, two. Southampton, one. Coventry, nil. Coventry are going to be kicking themselves. Mr. Penn. And it looked like the uh, goal was deflected as well off Che Adams. I need to see another replay of that. But it is what it is. Bamford, Kamara, Rodon, Ampadu, Firpo. Oh, nice turn, Somerville. Dodd's not happy with his sides defending there. Somerville, Firpo, overlap. Firpo, cross, blocked out by, I was going to say, Denver Hume. He used to play for Sunderland. Trey Hume. Uh, didn't Sunderland beat Southampton 5-0 this season? Yes, they did. But it was 5-0 or 5-1, I can't remember. But earlier in the season in Southampton's awful four-game losing streak. Now Sky have given us a super slow-mo on that. Don't know if they think it hit an arm or something. In comes the corner from Somerville. Bellingham gets ahead on it. Not a very good one. Dan James hit the shot. That's blocked out. Remember, no Nonto for Leeds, who would often play down that right-hand side. Spoilt for choice, though, Leeds. They've got brilliant forward players. Firpo comes off Bellingham. It's going to be another corner, Leeds. My theory is that maybe in terms of balance across the whole squad, you might give it Leicester. In terms of forward players, Leeds, I think, have got the edge, haven't they? 
Corner for Leeds. Griff puts it in. Oh, Ballard took it off out of his keeper's hands there. Somerville, cool and calm. Knocks it out to Kamara. James. James crosses in, headed out by Bellingham. And Leeds have got to be so patient in this game, haven't they? I think they're just going to be attacking all night long. And they've got to not force it. If it stays like this, they're going to win this game. They've just got to be patient and break through 87%. Possession for Leeds United, who are on top by a landslide. And Luke O'Neill just boots that as far as he can away from his goal. Ilan Melier has it. And um, Sandlin will try and regroup a little bit. But it doesn't matter if you run 20 metres up the pitch. If you can't get your foot on the ball, you'll be back 20 metres again in double quick time before you know it. Bamford, nice little layoff there. Somerville. Somerville. Uh, poor ball to Firpo. Unforced error. And it's going to be a Sunderland throw in. The inquest goes on between uh, Somerville and Firpo. Daniel Farker looks as calm as ever. Sunderland attack the throne. It's a push by Firpo. And not a great moment for the Leeds left back there. Out of position for the pass, then concedes a foul. Can Sunderland string two passes together? Uh, Lewis on TikTok. How am I? I'm very well, thank you, my friend. Enjoying the carnage, enjoying the chaos. A uh, long free kick forward, but easy header back by Archie Gray. Melier thinks about giving it back to him once, twice, three times he goes to roll it. Decides against it. Ampadu. Not forward. Uh, Bamford and Ballard going at it. Sunderland clear. I mean, they're having some touches now, Sunderland, at least. But it's all just clearances, isn't it? Uh, Arsenal won. Bayern nil. Are we heading for Arsenal Man City in the Champions League at some point as well? Interesting. They're both leading 1-0. It's Real Madrid nil, Man City won. Arsenal won, Bayern nil. And here comes a Sunderland attack, God forbid. And they've got Jack Clark on the ball. They're desperately going to want to get on the ball as often as um, they can out on that left wing. Now, there you go. I spoke too soon, Paul. Real Madrid have equalised, I hear. 1-1. One, one. Oh, lovely turn by Bamford there. And he gets smashed by Ballard. Is the ref going to keep his cards in his pocket? It's not something I particularly agree with, but players tend to get their first yellow card foul for free if it's in the first 15 minutes, don't they? Call me a bore. It's a yellow card foul in 30 seconds or 30 minutes or 90 minutes. It's a yellow card. Uh, so I think Ballard is a bit lucky there. I think he could easily have got booked for that. Uh, Ian, uh, Blackpool leading 1-0. Charlton 1-0. Mansfield, Newport. Oh, Accrington Stanley have equalised against Newport. Wrexham 2, Crawley 0. I think Crawley have been in decent form, haven't they? The Real Madrid goal scored by Camavinga, uh, equalising Bernardo Silva's opener in the second minute with a 12th minute strike. Uh, come on, Mansfield, says Kev. I've got a bone to pick with Mansfield. Only the when the Ipswich Rotherham game got postponed, that was where I was when I found out. I looked on the, you see the game gets postponed and you're like, right, how quickly can I get off the M1 and turn back around? And it was at Mansfield. So there you go. What can Mansfield do about the rain? Nothing. Fear, Poe. 
given away. Uh, Bamford helps him out. Bellingham chest control and a hospital ball there out into the left back area for Callum Stars. He looks after it really well, actually. Equa. And here comes Rig. And Bele crosses into the back post. I mean, he belted it across the uh, box there. Would have been really difficult for Clark to score from that. But he did win the header, to be fair to him. I think Gray was just tight enough, wasn't he? And here is Gray, the other end. Excellent play. James just gets pickpocketed. And Clark still hasn't managed to get a run at anybody yet. Ian's in charge of the lower leagues. I'll take it, Ian. Real Madrid 2-1 up now. Let me click on here. Yes, they are. My God, Rodrigo. Uh, it's been changed as well to a Diaz own goal and Rodrigo in 12 and 14 minutes. Here's Bamford. Bamford slides through, looking for Somerville. Easy take for Patterson. Uh, so you went to watch Mansfield instead. I did not. It was a Friday night game that was postponed. So I called the missus. Uh, she had no sympathy for me, but was very happy because we could have a takeaway. And we had a nice Friday night takeaway and we watched the, probably a 90s movie. So I had a good night in the end, to be fair. Thank you to the rain in Rotherham. Uh, Clark trying to chase him behind Gray. Gray's done well. Cool as you like there, Gray. He's wasted as a right back. Get him in centre midfield. I know there's no space for him there, but you can't have an operator that classy at right back, can you? I suppose Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, does lots of central midfieldy things from right back, doesn't he? He comes across looking for Bellingham. Ampadu nicks it off him. Ampadu, nice idea there. He tried to play Bamford in short, not into the channel to chase in. Uh, Stockport 1 0 up. Great night of football, this. This is like the old days, isn't it, in COVID, doing the Saturday Super Stream, which was always good fun. Here is Ballard. Gruev knocks that into Rodon. Leeds completely dominant in this game. A couple of little breakaways for Sunderland in the last, say, four or five minutes. But it has the look of a game that Leeds just need to be patient in, don't they? And they are. Can't win the game in 16 minutes, can you? Although... Norwich were two up in 16 minutes of Sheffield Wednesday. The Saturday Super Streams were better than soccer. Oh, thank you, Ian. That's very, very kind. If you could get me the rights to watch the games at 3 p.m., I'd bring back the Saturday Super Stream and get a panel in here. It'd be great, wouldn't it, eh? Stevenage nil. Barnsley won. Uh, Kev, roads are terrible around Rotherham even without rain. It was biblical that night. Here comes Rutte driving forward into the 10. Rutte towards the edge of the box. He goes down. Uh, nothing doing. I'll plead the fifth until I see the replay there. My um, first instinct was no penalty. But I've been wrong before. Beerpo. Kamara. Griff. Lovely ball by Griff into... Ruter beats his man. Ruter hits the shot. That looked like it was flying in the top corner for a second there. Hence my excitement. How much did this one miss by then? Fair bit in the end. Nice line on it, though. It was rising the right height, wasn't it? Is that potential penalty shout? No, nah, there's nothing in that at all. Ruter just slips. 
kind of bumps into um, Equa in the box. No pen, but Leeds um, starting to put some shots in now. Shots fired. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Norwich two, Southampton one, Coventry nil. Very good news for Norwich in the race for sixth place thus far. Welcome to everybody watching up there on TikTok. Really, really pleased um, to be able to use that platform as well. Mike, 1-1 one, one Arsenal. Both our Premier League, Champions League sides were leading. Neither of them are now. Real Madrid are beating Man City. Arsenal now have been levelled by Bayern. Oh, Bamford's uh, chasing after that and he's won it on the right wing and comes off Callum Styles. That's going to be a corner. It's good play by uh, Bamford, who gets a lot of flack, doesn't he? But uh, Daniel Farker, I watched his um, press conference in preparation for the doing this and he was very keen to point out that um, Bamford's physical numbers were the best on the pitch for of all the attackers uh, on Saturday in Leeds' defeat at Coventry. Corner for Leeds, Bamford and Styles having some WWE fun in the box there. Corner goes to the edge of the box to Dan James. Back it goes to Griff. Good angle now to cross. Griff puts it in. Good punch, Patterson. But He's a good guy to have on the edge of the box, Dan James. He's so bloody quick, isn't he? Uh, will I be welcoming Pompey and Derby next season? Very much so. It'd be great to have Pompey back, won't it? In the um, Well, assuming they go up, we, we are all assuming that's going to happen. I'm getting lots of um, people talking to me about Lincoln as well. Lincoln got all the way to the uh, playoff final, didn't they, under Michael Appleton with Brennan Johnson and Morgan Rogers on the wings. Don't know what happened to those two. Beaten in the final by Neil Critchley's Blackpool in COVID year. Uh, foul on Bamford. I suspect Ballard has to go in the book now, doesn't he? Yeah, I totally agree with the ref there. Uh, he points points to where the other foul took place and said, I could have booked you for the first one. Um, it will be totting up process there. And I make referee Robinson right to book Dan Ballard there. Uh, Smokey Joe, Wednesday, 30 minutes, one shot on target. Not good. Uh, Kev, you never know. Sunderland could spring a surprise. I mean, it's not looking that way, is it? But... As you point out, Leeds could get nervous if it stays nil-nil. I wouldn't imagine they will. Not with Daniel Farker in the dugout. Ruter dribbling as ever. Ruter sticks the cross in. That's going to break for Somerville in the box. Somerville knocks it back. The offside flag has gone. Uh, Ryan up on TikTok, uh, Barnsley winning. Yes, they are leading against Stevenage, which is a big game, isn't it? Up at the top of League One, uh, just down the road from me, in fact, um, Stevenage. They're doing great things there. We've gone to Southampton and Saints are going 2 0 up by the look of this footage. Uh, set play, all oh, keeper. Just kind of smuggled in by Che Adams. And if he claimed the deflection for the first, that may be Che Adams on a hat trick. Um, it looks like it's been given to Walker Peters. Into the box uh, come Sunderland. The cross deflected from Jack Clark straight into the arms of um, Ilan Melier. There's one for Dan James to chase. And he tries to draw a foul. Does not succeed. Chris, is Sheffield Wednesday's keeper about 16? Who is the Wednesday? Is it Beadle tonight? Um, where's he on loan from? Brighton, I think. He's definitely a youngster. Was at um, Bristol Rovers last year? Yeah, 19 years old. So he's young and you may be old, Chris, as well. 
or a bit of both, as my great colleague and great friend David Diamond would say on the Blue Monday podcast. Nabri uh, was the scorer for Bayern. Uh, good old WrestleMania. I watched a bit of that on YouTube um, today, Dave, and I thought it was brilliant, actually. Um, if anyone watched the end of WrestleMania, I won't give any spoilers out, but really, um, really entertaining um, stuff from what I saw on YouTube. Norwich in fifth, as it stands, Michael. I've got to say, I'm none too unhappy about that. <laughs> uh, Ryan on TikTok would be massive playoffs if Richard and Norwich both in there. Well, as uh, whoever said that, uh, Michael has just pointed out, as things stand, they would miss one another in the playoffs. Oh, Somerville, beautiful first touch. Somerville uh, tries to drive between two. No foul. Tries to keep going, but it's cleared in the end. Bellingham is going to draw a foul off Greve. He was waiting for that one, wasn't he? Matt, who I had the pleasure of meeting for the first time the other night on our monthly roundtable. You can see Matt has got a, where do I point? There, a little... Um, Image by his name. He is a member here on YouTube. Just hit the join button. You can come and talk to me uh, each and every month on the round table or each and every day in the WhatsApp group. How about that? As if you haven't had enough of my drivel on here. Root air. Somerville, edge of the box. Somerville comes inside, just taking off his toe. Uh, very basketball-y at the moment. Bit of space now for Bellingham. Uh, Bellingham into the channel. Surely Clark is off. Side. 25 gone. Leeds nil. Sunderland nil. I would say Leeds were... Oh, he wasn't offside there, was he? Maybe he's leaning offside. Hard to tell. Why does everybody do that? You see what I just did? I went like that, as if that was going to change the angle of the, <laughs> the camera. Trying to look around the back there. Um, Leighton Orient one exit to nil. How good is Richie Wellens, the Leighton Orient manager? What a job he's done there. Wow. Firpo. Ampadu. Bamford knocks it off to Kamara. Rodon. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Uh, goal, Huddersfield. Wow. We might even go to the league table for that one. Sean, welcome to you, fella. A up, marching on together there in the chat. Welcome, Sean. Uh, that sounds like a huge goal for Huddersfield. Remember, they won at the weekend. Um, that may be worthy of the live league table. I think we need to check on Norwich as well, who are in fifth here in as things stand. That could be a huge goal for Huddersfield, who are one up at Preston. We're just waiting for the goal scorer. Go to the live league table in a second. Bamford, Firpo, Somerville. Firpo, or Somerville stumbles over. Um, we'll wait for this attack to either result in a goal or break down, and then we'll go to the live league table. In fact, let's go there now. Have a look up the top there. Southampton winning, Norwich winning, Norwich up to fifth place, meaning they would play Southampton in the playoffs and not Ipswich. Not that I have a vested interest in that not happening. Uh, Pembele puts that one out for a corner. Let's have a look at Huddersfield, though. Wow. Huddersfield, if they win tonight, that would be back-to-back -back victories. To which I would say, wow, fair play. 46 on the board as things stand. Take them above both Plymouth and Millwall. It's a bad night for Sheffield Wednesday, of course, as well. They are two down at home to Norwich City as things stand. And we have a corner for Leeds United, which Chris Somerville puts in right-footed. Headed out by Bellingham. He wins a lot of those headers, doesn't he? Uh, Job Bellingham in his own defensive Actions. Firpo. Kamara.
Bamford. Somerville gets a lucky bounce. Now dribbles away. Somerville into the box. Uh, referee's letting that one move on. Firpo knocks it back to Kamara. Somerville hit the deck. Rodon. Ampadu. Kamara. Rodon. Uh, Cheltenham nil, Carlisle one. Uh, Carlisle right down the bottom, as I understand. Here's Kamara. Kamara. Rute shooting chance comes back on his left foot. Good tackle. Um, excellent defending there. And then a horrible ball um, after he'd done it. Was it Callum Styles or was it Dan Neal? I couldn't quite make out. So plenty going on in League One as well, guys. Um, Carlisle obviously rock bottom, but they are leading. They will live to fight another day, although 10 points um, adrift. So they won't live to fight another day, in fact. Is that right? Can't do these maths on the hop here. 30. Have they added those points on already? Three games left. They're not already down. Hmm. Pass. Root air. Given away. Uh, David. Uh, evening, Ben, Dave, Matt, Clive, all the BBFC, but welcome, uh, Guy. That's Harry Kane scored for Bayern. Is this happening? He's former Spurs player at Arsenal. Has he got the second goal? It's not come up on my foot mob yet. Here's Somerville. He's had loads of touches, hasn't he? Somerville. Firpo. Ampadu. Firpo. Kamara. Oh, he's dived in there. Somerville now into the box. Somerville right foot. It deflected. Oof. Looked like it might deflect into the path of Bamford there. Oh, dear. It was really poor from um, Trey Hume. Look at this. Awful overcommitment. That stitches his team up. Somerville, who we've seen about 100 times this season, come in off the left and curl one of those in the corner. Deflects off Ballard. Nearly completely into the path of Pat Bamford. Uh, corner goes in, punched out. Somerville is like one-man team at the moment. Oh, all the attacks are just him dribbling the ball, aren't they? Uh, there we go. Is that confirmed? Kane penalty? Yes. Uh, Arsenal 1, Bayern 2, Bristol Rovers nil. Reading 2. Uh, sorry, you lot on TikTok. It's asking me to confirm. I want to continue, so I just have to put a bit of jigsaw into something else. And we're up, up and away once again. Thank you if you're watching up there on TikTok. And thank you, all the people in the YouTube chat. Oh, just in a replay of that. It's Ballard's arm, doesn't it? That's a, that's a really interesting one because he keeps his arm close to his body, but moves his arm towards the ball there. Yeah. wonder what VAR would have made of that. We don't have it, so no penalty. They might have had a look at that. Ruter puts that through. Bamford is offside. Just didn't quite time his run there, Pat Bamford. Preston nil. Huddersfield one is the latest score. I'm just about to see the goal. Bergsog in the six-yard box knocks it into the middle. It's going to be an ugly goal. It's, oh, my God, completely mishit shot. Nice feet by Karoma. <laughs> um, the build-up was interesting, put it that way. Uh, we do recover on TikTok. Up the Saints, very much up the Saints tonight. They are 2-0 up the Saints against Coventry. Coventry, Mr. Penn at 0-0. Hadji Wright slipping over. That goal for Huddersfield is a giant goal, taking him to 46 points. Outstanding. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, 0. Norwich, 2. Norwich currently... Fifth in the table. Shot from the edge of the box from the wonder kid, Chris Rigg. Over the bar it goes. Uh, Liam, 
Huddersfield goal makes things interesting at the bottom, like they weren't already, mate. Makes them even more interesting, doesn't it? You love to see it, unless, of course, you are a fan maybe of, um, of Birmingham. Who did Huddersfield go above with that goal? Uh, Millwall and Plymouth. You're not going to like that at all. But um, they will have their chances tonight. By the way, it must be uh, Millwall nil, Leicester nil, right at the top of the table. So neither, famous last words, of the uh, two automatic promotion seeking teams. No, it's not fair on Southampton. Uh, but neither of the top three teams playing tonight are leading yet. Uh, O'Neill down the line to Clark. They've finally got him on a dribble now. Clark comes inside, beats his man easily. Clark, brilliant play, good save. Melier, and there is the danger. And you don't need to tell the audience at Ellen Road how good Jack Clark is. But oh my god, he just completely burned Road on to the ground, didn't he? Beat him so easily. It's a good save by Melier, isn't it? And there's the danger of Jack Clark. Corner, Sunderland. Left-footed, in it comes. Uh, Firpo gets a head on it. Gray knocks it away and then chases after it himself. And the ball goes back to Trey Hume. Charlie in TikTok there. Norwich on a roll. Very, very much so. Could not agree more. In fact, I don't even think that's a matter of opinion at this point. It's just an objective fact that Norwich are on a huge roll and up in to fifth spot under David Wagner with Josh Sargent and Borja Sainz tonight putting Norwich 2 0 up against Sheffield Wednesday. Clark. Gray. Rig slides in there. Looks like he hurt himself. Bamford's trying to um, run through Ballard again. They're having a fun old battle there. I mean, Bamford obviously knows that Ballard's been booked as well, doesn't he? And Sunderland win a foul there. JJ, for the first time in what seems like a decade, how we end up being knocked up. Fifth spot. Given we have Rotherham at home tomorrow, we will be back. Yes, indeed. Uh, Clive, Yorkshire trio to be relegated. Uh, what are the chances of Huddersfield? And Well, Huddersfield are doing themselves no harm at all. Shepherd Wednesday, on the other hand. Hmm. A little bit different. Uh, referee Robinson is having a word with Pat Bamford and Dan Ballard. Bamford's got the upper hand in the Housery battle here, though, because uh, Ballard is on the yellow card and Bamford is not, which could make all the difference. Uh, Alex, Millwall holding their own v Leicester. Now half-time. Yeah, we'll be half-time in the majority of Probably all of them, actually. Yeah, half half time in all of the seven forty five kickoffs. Now we're at just coming up to thirty seven minutes in Leeds Sunderland. Bellingham has got it on the left wing. Bellingham knocks it back up the line. Styles, Onin, Ekwa. O'Neill steps into the centre circle. Here is Pembele, the right back on the right wing. Comes inside Firpo, knocks it off to Bellingham. Rodon gets a little toe in it. Sunderland have still got it. Clark hits the shot right-footed. Easy save for Ilan Melier. And Sunderland are more in the game than they were, aren't they? They've managed to get Clark on the ball, which has been, um, I don't want to say their only tactic. Maybe their main tactic this season, I think. We would all agree, wouldn't we? 
Yeah, here come Leeds down the right. Dan James pops the cross in. Hume is clearing that up. He's come across from fullback to help out his centre backs. And Sunderland trying to break. Pembele. Pembele knocks that back to Rig, who crosses in easy gather. For Melier. And he holds on to it. Mill nil, Leicester nil, half time. Plymouth nil, QPR nil. Preston nil, Huddersfield one. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Norwich two. Southampton nil, uh, two, Coventry nil. All those games, 7.45 kickoffs tonight. Big movers are Huddersfield and Norwich. Norwich into fifth. Huddersfield up above both Plymouth and Millwall down at the bottom. Bamford on the left wing. Bamford to Firpo. Ampadu. It's going to be a Leeds throw, which Firpo will take. Ampadu. Rodon. Ampadu to Firpo. Back to Ampadu. Leeds have had the ball for an eternity now. Kamara. Rodon. Ampadu. Leeds patient to a fault here. In fact, there is the fault. They've given the ball away and uh, Callum Styles knocks it on to Jack Clark on the left wing. Clark runs it Dan James. Gray and James double up. Clark plays it inside. Nice ball into Bellingham edge of the box. Heavy touch. And Leeds get it clear. Back comes Sunderland, though. Pembele. Hume. Ballard. <clears throat> Ballard goes home to Anthony Patterson. <clears throat> Stefan, as a Wolves fan, would you like to see VAR in the championship? I would, but I know a lot of people disagree with me on that. Uh, Jack Clark having a decent game for Sunderland. He's got very high standards in this division, though, Jack Clark. I think a decent game for him is a goal and an assist, isn't it? But he's starting to become more of a threat, to your point. Without me splitting hairs, I know what you're saying. Uh, Ruter has been pulled down. Free kick leads. Equa penalised the big strapping central midfielder for Sunderland. Frenchman, I presume, with a name like that. You check anyway, yeah. Only 22. Loads of youngsters, Sunderland, haven't they? James puts the cross in deflected corner. Leeds United as we come up 42 minutes. Uh, Sunderland with a slightly better XG at this point. They do, actually, yeah. But I think we're nicest guy in jail territory here, Mark. It's 0.10 to 0.14. Not many chances in this game, despite the fact Leeds have had absolutely tons of the ball. In comes the set play. Hume gets the eyebrows on that. It's going to be a throw in to Leeds with Somerville on the left wing as we approach half time. Firpo throws it into Ampadu. Rodon. Ampadu. Big thanks to you lot up there on TikTok as well. We're trying to build that part of our online presence if I don't sound like some awful marketing guy. Uh, here is Ampadu. Somerville. Ampadu tries to feed that through to Bamford. It's a poor ball, actually. And 
truth by Ampadu, not as poor as Ballard's clearance there, straight back to Firpo, puts his team really under pressure. Here's Somerville, Somerville knocks it back. Bamford hits the slot shot. It's a hopeless shot by Bamford. He's a left-footed player, takes it with his right foot and just shanks it, shanks it miles wide. Uh, Luke up in TikTok, uh, I think he's commentary, it says, play up Sky Blues. Got to be the worst we've played all year. Typical Cobb, not happy with his team's performance there. Three, one more down here. Elliot, uh, how would you see each of Leicester, Leeds and Ipswich adapting to Premier League football? Um, I mean, obviously, Leicester and Leeds have got the experience. They've got players who've been there. Um, it would be a horrible struggle for Ipswich, but, you know, I think you would see the positive of an incredible two years story and back to back promotions if they could make it. In comes the cross from James Ballard. All kinds of falling over there, but he gets it clear. Uh, Ethan, the Millwall Leicester game has been a slog. Not enjoying it, mate. He's asked me how old I am as well. I can't answer that. <laughs> Older than you think. Ampadu. Poor ball again by Ampadu. Rare for him. Two in the space of about three minutes. Oh, Ampadu slips and falls there. Oof. Just managed to sort himself out. If Ampadu had not been able to do that, you would have had Equa running into the right-hand side of the penalty area, potentially unchallenged there. Uh, Ethan up on TikTok. Leicester in control of possession, but creating nowhere near enough. It's nervy, isn't it? I'm sure you'll probably have some Leeds fans saying the same thing about Leeds United here. Uh, Jack. Can confirm the Millwall game is dull as dishwater. Is that the Hancock analysis guy? Is that you, Jack? If it is, I'm a fan. Keep up the good work. Here's Somerville. Oh, Somerville slips that through. Bamford. Bamford goes around the keeper. Bamford, can he square it? Oh, why has he hit it that hard? Oh, goodness me. Here's Kamara. Interested to have another look at that um, Bamford break into the box there. If he could have just... I know it was Dan James in there, who's five foot nothing, isn't he? But um, it needed a far more composed cross there from Pat Bamford. Uh, by the way, all action here. And we've gone into stoppage time. And stoppage time is over. And it's half time. And Daniel Farker, who is always the epitome of calmness, walks away showing little emotion. He'll be playing the long game, Farker. Feels like Leeds have had tons of possession. Could have made a bit more of it, possibly. Nervy now, because you'll go into the second half nil-nil. I've got to admit, about 15, 20 in, I thought Leeds were going to run away with this one tonight. They were so on top, but it's just kind of cooled down. Um, there you go. Jack, but the very same. There you go. Um, Jack, plug your Twitter in there. It's a good, good follow, um, uh, Hancock Analysis. I'm a follower, aren't I? I get all the tweets anyway, so. There you go. Ampadu is a baggy, says Matt. His dad was. I never knew that. There we go. Um, uh, Sean up on TikTok. Ipswich will win 3 nil tomorrow. Sean, I want some of what you're drinking. I like it. Uh, Luke up there as well. I think that settles playoff hopes with Norwich winning and us needing a second half Miracle. Interesting. Get your thoughts in, everybody. Um, we are at half time in Leeds versus Sunderland. We can do some questions as well. We can take them from TikTok up there or YouTube down there. The 7.45 kickoffs are now going into the second half. So we'll probably get a bit of action from them. Let me just give you the numbers at half time from Leeds Sunderland. 
and they're probably exactly as my eye test suggested. Not that I'm confident in my own opinions or or the like. Look at that attack momentum graph. So you can see Leeds have dominated the ball just ahead on the XG. But the headline on the XG is nobody's created anything, have they? Look, uh, zero shots on target for Leeds, two for Sunderland, but for an XG of 0.14, Leeds 0.16. 71% possession for Leeds, equating to zero shots on target. So you can see where the um, dots need to be joined. Um, but Leeds very capable of doing it. And at this time in the season, it's just get the job done. Everyone remembers those nervy, nervy home games where you might not play well, but you just somehow win 1 0, don't you? Just get it done. I always remember Ipswich getting promoted in 99, 2000. Played Crystal Palace in the running, maybe three, four games from the end of the season. Um, ended up, I had, to, I had to go through the playoffs in the end, Ipswich, of course, but just a nervy, horrible 1 0 win where you're just like, just get this one over the line. Uh, there you go, Jack. Um, there is a plug. Um, Hancock analysis. Yeah, check that out. Really good, really good follow that. Enjoy that one. Over on X Twitter. Annie, what a legend. Annie stepped in for Mikey um, last week um, on the um, on the Premier League predictions um, video. Did a grand job. Go and give him a follow. Uh, stop talking about Norwich. It's still sore. I've moved on, FXT Blues. And Norwich are winning 2-0 at Sheffield Wednesday tonight. And currently in fifth place in the championship. Uh, and on that game, uh, Chris, I think Wednesday got read the riot act, full-blooded start. Sounds like one of those ones where it couldn't have been any worse, could they? Uh, there you go, Jack. You've got another fan in and here in the comments. Uh, JJ up on TikTok, Southampton beating us 2 0. Coventry fans, um, had a great weekend beating Leeds, got an FA Cup semi final coming up, but does look like the playoffs, um, potentially well, I don't say slipping away. Excuse me. It'll be a bad night tonight, though. A really bad night. There's the live league table. Coventry 63 as things stand. They are two down at Southampton. And they missed the penalty at nil-nil. West Brom play tomorrow at home to Rotherham. We love you, Rotherham, but we expect points for West Brom in that one, don't we? Uh, Norwich going to move on to 70 Norwich could be posting a really good total. Could be getting close to 80 points. You can see they're on to 70 with four to play. Sky are just showing this um, Dan Ballard handball shout. It's a really interesting one. Because his arm is not in an unnatural position, but he definitely plays the ball with his arm. Look at that. He moves across. So after my third replay, I think that's a penalty. And I think in VIR land, I think that would that would get given. I don't know what Don Goodman and Michael Bridges are saying. But he definitely motions towards the ball with his arm. So I would say, and I'll give the ref a pass because I needed... Um, under replays, didn't I? Um, I would say that that should have probably been uh, a penalty in respect of that's a deliberate handball if you're moving the ball, moving your arm towards it. Um, just seeing that chance for Jack Clark as well. If only Pembele could have just floated that cross in. 
Clark would have had a much easier header there. Uh, sure enough, on TikTok, uh, do I believe it just can get automatic? Um, mate, even if they can still do it on the last day, I'm never going to believe it. I'm just that kind of fan, but there you go. Uh, Tommy, also on TikTok, 71% position for Leeds, not doing anything with it. Frustrating as a Leeds fan. Uh, what do we got here in the chat on YouTube? <laughs> Paris 75 again. Uh, penalty all day long. Yeah, it does look like a penalty, doesn't it? I have to say, I'll give the ref a pass. It's impossible in real time. I mean, people say they don't like VAR, but I think VAR probably would have given that and helped the referee out really hard to see that one in real time with the human eye. Uh, pure salvation. How polite. Good evening, Benjamin. How are you tonight? I'm lovely. What I will say is I've had one of those days today where I got up and just didn't feel like I had any energy whatsoever. I'm lucky this week as well because my missus is off her work and we put Enid into the childminder so she gets a bit of um, a bit of rest. So it's nice to have her around. But yeah, just couldn't get... Do you ever have days like that where you just feel, Ugh, can't get going, can't get going? Oh, Hello. Preston won, Huddersfield won. That's a big goal. Any goals in that game, I'm going to the live league table because that is going to shift both Millwall and Plymouth back up in the table, isn't it? Look at that. Huddersfield regress from 46 points back down to 44. Millwall and Plymouth both flow up a place. Nil-nil uh, in both their games. Millwall nil, less than nil. Plymouth nil, QPR nil. Any reason why on foot mob, it says Millwall Leicester 45? Oh, no, they have kicked off. It says 51 now. Does look like they're a few minutes behind everybody else. Uh, chair, there's Mr. Great Chance. You probably want it to fall to him as well, don't you, Dave? Um has missed a great chance for Rangers. Uh, Plymouth nil. Rangers nil. Uh, jumpers jump rewind. What's up? Hello up there on TikTok. Mad Dog. International break has killed all Leeds momentum. I know what you mean, Mad Dog. I wouldn't say all of it, but they have slowed down. Uh, Lewis, what do I think of Leeds? Um, I thought they were going to waltz through this one. I still think they'll probably have enough to get it done in the second half, but um, it could get nervy, couldn't it, for Leeds? It strikes me as the sort of game that Leeds will just have, they'll just have too much quality and, um, you know, they'll they'll put the pressure on and they'll get the job done. That's how I see it um, kind of playing out. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, Norwich hanging on a bit, Chris. Wednesday going long. It's probably not a bad idea against Norwich. A good defensive side, aren't they? Uh, Honeyman off injured for Millwall. So changes a foot in that game. So, um, in fact, let me actually show you on the screen so we can literally walk through what's going on in the championship. It's a huge night and take particular interest there. Foot mob's not 100% accurate on the clock, um, but have a look over on that side of the screen as you're as you're looking, uh, and you can see we're between 52 and 57 in all the games. Millwall nil, Leicester nil, Plymouth nil, QPR nil, Preston one, Huddersfield one. That's such a huge game that we had Huddersfield just ballooning the table, flew up when they were leading and then back down again um, for the draw. Devil Wednesday, nil, Norwich two. Norwich going into fifth place in the table tonight. Rotherham do visit West Brom tomorrow. So we could see West Brom take fifth spot back. Southampton two, Coventry nil. Coventry missed a free shot at goal from 12 yards. How do you write slip when taking a penalty in that one? And double kicked it. What a waste. What a waste. Boom, boom, and it's Leeds nil. Sunderland nil. That is our game we are focused on here tonight. And it may be a nervy second half for Leeds. They need 
Uh, need to get themselves a goal as early as possible. The best thing they can do, stating the bleeding, obvious, I know, come out and score in the first five minutes of the second half. That will calm everything down. Uh, coming of the day, Lewis up there. You're a legend, by the way, mate. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, Paul, uh, just driven from rugby to Bristol for work. There we go. These halftime scores are all right. Uh, yes, they are. If you're an Ipswich fan, um, but a lot of quality in that um, Leicester and Leeds rosters. Um, you wouldn't be surprised if they both won, but someone might drop points tonight. We'll see Ipswich play at home to um, Watford tomorrow. Uh, Arsenal in the Champions League tonight. Yes. They're 2 1 down, though, to Bayern Munich. Uh, Michael, Ben, you're more confident about Leeds than us fans are. Well, that's always the way, isn't it? Flip this round. If this was Ipswich, I'd be like, oh, they're never going to win this game. Whereas you can hopefully see it a bit more balanced when you're a neutral. And um, I just think it's fairly objectively fact to say that Leeds have had control of this game. I, I, I agree with all the fans saying. Um, you know, they haven't they haven't made enough. I do agree with that. But be patient, haven't you? Don't force it. Uh, I think you may have missed it. Did I miss a super chat? Holy, oh, sorry. Annie. Um, 79p on the super chat. Annie, I'm so, so sorry. Something must have happened. Um, really, really sorry. We'll put all the super chats up. And thank you, Annie, legend Lee as well. Robin earlier in the show. I think it was a penalty I just saw on the screen, which was the Huddersfield equaliser. Uh, Lewis, can I sort an interview with you? Depends when it is. Um, but yeah, send me a DM and we'll we'll see if we can fit it. And I do get a hell of a lot of requests for those. Uh, though, so I can't do them all, but I would love to help out if I can. And you did call me a legend, which always helps. Ah, ah. Uh, Maybe time for Willock to come on in the QPR game, says Dave. Clive Lock wants Nonto on. For Leeds, he always makes a difference, doesn't he? And we are heading into the second half. No way. Stevenage have turned it round. Just have a quick look at what's going on in League One, particularly at the top of the table as it pertains to who might be coming into the championship. And if you haven't been following what Steve Evans has done, I know he's Marmite Steve Evans at Stevenage, but for them to be this close to the playoffs... They are going to be, as things stand, are oh, they three points off it, but Oxford have got a game in hand. What a job, though. Uh, this is what League One looks like. Look at Pompey, 90 points. How about that? Take a bow, Pompey. When can that be confirmed, then? Can Pompey go up at the weekend? Yeah, they're nine points clear. So, yeah, if they better... Bolton's result and um, Peterborough can't catch them with the games in hand. So, yeah, Pompey could be up at the weekend, couldn't they? Um, Derby as well. A couple of big clubs in the top two there. We've seen plenty in League One over the years, haven't we? Um, uh, Bolton in third, Peterborough fourth. Anyone else playing tonight? It's only Barnsley. Um, in that top six who are playing. Oh, it's Portsmouth Bolton. There you go. So it could be happening. If Derby failed to win tomorrow and Pompey win on Saturday, win the top. When's promotion guaranteed, though, um, Jack? Uh, Evans was average at Leeds, but a character. Definitely a character. Uh, Stevenage have one of the ways, biggest way. How do you know, Annie? How do you know? Have you seen the benchmark figures? I don't believe you. I need to see evidence. Do you know what? I did actually see the benchmarking for League One last year. So um, that's why I was able to um, <laughs> behave with humility, um, hopefully with Ipswich's wage bill. Because I think they were the, um, well, if you can imagine the benchmarking figures, not to reveal too much, it'll say team one, two, three, four, five, six. They're anonymous, right? But everybody knows who, uh, the person who told me said, oh, no, 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 no. There's Sheffield Wednesday. There's Ipswich. So, yeah, we do get some kind of um, idea if you know how to read benchmarking, but they're all confidential, aren't they? 
submitted to the EFL before the season starts. And remember, there are any benchmarks as well that might not turn out uh, that way indeed. Oh! Have we got a cat amongst the pigeons at the den? Look at that. Is that true? Millwall have taken the lead against Leicester, which would be a giant goal, not only for Millwall in the survival race, but for Leicester at the top of the table. Wow. Millwall won. Leicester nil. Keep an eye on that one. Goodness me. That would be giant, wouldn't it? We have kicked off in the second half. Uh, and all of Ellen Road will already know about that goal, I bet you. And there'll be a ripple going around that ground right now. Uh, I need to click the stinger here. We're into the second half. Uh, Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. Uh, Luke Onin has just gone in the book for a foul on Dan James. Kind of bumped into it and then shoved him over as well. I think some... Oof. Oh, God. That's an ugly tackle by Luke Onin. It's an orange card or a blue card, whatever you wanted to call it. He absolutely smashed Dan James there. Definite yellow card. Uh, Elliot, pathetic from us to concede. We've bottled so many chances. Wow. Ryan Longman, a gigantic goal in the promotion picture and down at the bottom. Millwall won, Leicester nil, which would, of course, give Leeds United the chance to go to the top of the table with a win tonight. It is very much on for Leeds right now, tonight. Are Leicester going to drop points at Millwall? I'm about to see the goal, in fact, on the picture-in-picture picture here. Longman coming in off the left. What a goal. <laughs> Barring in as well. Jesus Christ. As if it wasn't a difficult enough angle to score. What a strike that is. In off the crossbar from Ryan Longman, who will never need to buy a pint in either Leicester or Ipswich or Southampton ever, ever, ever again. Right, let me do my reset properly here. We need to do the teams uh, for Leeds United versus Sunderland. I'm sure Daniel Farker will have immediately been told about that goal at the den, impossible to hide from all the news um, in the modern era. Remember the days when people would have like little radios at the grounds. Everyone, I know the reception's crap in Elland Road, but they got Wi-Fi down on the bench, haven't they? They know everything that's going on everywhere. And significantly, Leicester losing away at Millwall. Uh, let me reset your teams here. Uh, you lot in the chat. Uh, Melier in goal. Gray, Rodon, Ampadu, Firpo, Kamara, Groif, James, Rutter, Somerville, Bamford for Sunderland, Patterson, Pembele, Ballard, O'Neill, Hume, Neil, Styles, Rigg, Equa, Clark, and Bellingham. Up top in the false nine. Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. <laughs> A lot of love for Millwall up on TikTok as well as in the YouTube comments. We thought the Huddersfield goal at Preston was the biggest goal of the night. I think that's just been usurped by Ryan Longman. And whoever scores next in either of those games, that's the next biggest goal of the night, isn't it? You know it. Uh, Ruta, dodgy touch there. And Dan Neal shepherds it out for a throw. Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. Leeds score. If Leeds take the lead right now, whilst Millwall are winning, they will go top of the championship with five games remaining. Remember, 
sorry, four games remaining. Remember, Leicester will still have five. A goal for Leeds puts them top of the table. Can they get it? <laughs> you just made the list. <laughs> That's very funny, that, wasn't it? Uh, will I be doing a live stream for Ipswich tomorrow? I'm going to go to the Ipswich game tomorrow. I've got I've got permission to go from the missus. Um, the season ticket is there ready and waiting for me. I just don't want to be a lame-o and the weather's a bit grubby and I go, oh, do you know what? It's a long drive. I can't be asked. In which case, I will be sat right here watching it. But the intention is I will be at Ipswich Watford tomorrow. Vlog time, um, indeed, Clive. Uh, yeah, we got Jake on that as well, so it will look really pretty as well. Camera on Daniel Farker there. He's never won to sub too early, but when he does sub, it's normally pretty decisive, a double or a treble. Always impactful, I think. Hume, Pembele. Oh, horrible back pass there. My God. Patterson clears it. And now they're all the way up off the other end with Rig. Uh, Ampadu Marshall's Rig pretty well. But Sunderland are in this game at nil-nil. They don't want to concede a stupid goal like that. Uh, Hume is apologising. It's an awful back pass. Completely undercooked it. And he's got a lot to thank his keeper for who sprinted out and got that clear. Knocked forward. Styles clears for Barnsley. That's <laughs> Barnsley. Styles played for Barnsley for years. He's playing for Sunderland now. Barnsley on the brain after that Stevenage chat. We have a goal for Coventry, Daryl. So I'm handed two, Coventry one, according to the chat. And according to Footmob two as well. Coventry on the comeback trail there. They need another goal, though. They are 2-1 down. Bidwell, thank you, guys. There's one in the channel for Jack Clark to chase. He's done amazingly to win a throw-in, has he? No. Bounced off him last. Look at that bench for Leeds. God, Piro, Nonto, Joseph, Anthony. Attacking options out the wazoo there on the bench there for Leeds. I'm sure we're going to see at least two of them in the next 10 to 15 minutes for sure. Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. Elsewhere, it's Millwall 1, Leicester 0, which is huge for this game here. If Leeds score, they will go to the top of the championship. Oh, Rute, what a pass that is. And Somerville skips past this man now. Somerville careering towards the box. Equa gets back. Pembele's with him. Oh, Dan James has been taken down there. And the offside flag has gone up. I was waiting for a penalty to be given there. I think maybe the offside has saved Dan Ballard because he certainly would have been red carded uh, for that as well. Let's have a look here. Leeds could have had a penalty in the first half, couldn't they? Is James offside? Yes, he is. Was it a penalty? Yes, it was. <laughs> so if he'd have just held his run, it's a nailed on penalty, isn't it? I don't think he would have got done on the denial of obvious goal scoring opportunity, but he would have got a second yellow and been red carded as well. Living on their nerves a bit there, Sunderland, as Somerville came streaking through the middle. Uh, Cole, you won. Stockport, two. Charlton, one. Wigan, one. Thank you, Ian, for the updates. Uh, Elliot, who's across Leicester for us, nearly 2-0. We have to wake up. 
Remember, remember, that Leicester squad has got so much quality. There's every chance they can not only got get back into that game, but they can go and win that game. Um, aren't Leicester being investigated for... Bre no, um, well, Leicester have, um, are not going to get charged. Oh, here is um, Somerville. Tries to give and go. Somerville trying to sort his feet out. Rute, Rute. Oh, he hits the shot and he slashes it wide. He thinks it's a corner. I don't think it is. I could be wrong. But pressure, pressure building up. Does really well in the first. I think it is a corner, actually. Yeah, I think it does take a nick. As the shot goes in, I think it comes off Hume, doesn't it? Yeah, corner. Uh, in it goes. Headed clear to the edge of the box. James, shooting chance. James, not a bad strike. Keeps it down, but it bounces wide of the post. Um, sorry, yeah. Leicester, um, I mean, it's not even a kind of investigation. They've they're basically they're banged to rights and they've been charged, but they're in between jurisdiction, which is ridiculous. So nobody's going to be able to deduct them points this season. Um, Ballard is a red card and apparently waiting to happen potentially. Oh, QPR goal. Is that for definite? Yes, it is. That's a huge goal for both QPR and Plymouth. I make QPR safe if they can win that game. I think they go to 49 points, don't they? Uh, Rangers. We're going to go to the live league table. On that one. Remember, Huddersfield are level now. Huddersfield were winning earlier in the night. Look at QPR there. What a job um, by Marty Sifuentes. Uh, look, all the way up. Let me remove that banner. In 15 spot, 49 points. I think that's surely safety, isn't it? I, I reckon QPR, if they win tonight, they could lose their remaining four games and they're still not going to be caught on 49 points. The form they're in, they're not going to lose their remaining four games. But, yeah, big goal there. I think someone said in the chat, was it Anya there? Uh, Sam Field, the goal scorer. A big goal in the 74th minute. Plymouth nil, QPR 1. Sam Field, your beauty. Here is uh, Pembele for... Sunderland, uh, oh, Root, uh, some of it was done brilliantly there. And that's a yellow card, isn't it, from Rig? Uh, Rig just grabs some of it with both hands and pulls him down. He knows it's a yellow, doesn't he? 57 gone, Leeds turning up the intensity. Sifuentes has done an incredible job. Yes, he has. Are Rotherham officially relegated? Yes, and they are guaranteed to finish bottom as well. That is the first place in the championship confirmed uh, before May. The fourth. There will be more. Uh, how many points do you think is needed to stay up? We'll have a look in a minute. It's got lower than it was a few weeks ago. It was crazy. We, we were thinking 48, 49, 50 a few weeks ago, but or maybe a month ago. But we're heading back towards that normal number of 45 to survive, 46, maybe a bit higher this season. Uh, here's Dan James done a right for Leeds. James. James crosses left-footed, headed out by Luke O'Neill. And here is Jack Clark. Rute has done well to get back and challenge him. Lucky bounce for Job Bellingham. A very good pass, though, out to Pembele. He comes forward down the right. Rig tries to play it back into Pembele, who is onside after it bounces off Firpo. Pembele can't beat Firpo but wins a throw-in. Rotherham also favourites for League One. Yeah, should we just give Rotherham the League One title already? Which they're definitely going to win next season. <laughs> if anyone wants a spoiler for my League One predictions at the start of um, at the start of next season, <laughs> if Rotherham win League One, I'm predicting they're going up. Uh, Chris Rigg, the youngster, is going off. And Pat Roberts is coming on for Sunderland. First sub is made by Mike Dodds. I suspect Daniel Farker will do a double or even a treble pretty soon. Uh, Toby. 
in um, TikTok there. What do you think the top three will end as? Look, I said before the international break, I said it's Leeds, Leicester, Ipswich. Although I change my mind every week. Got to have Middlesbrough a second at the start of the season, but then they got rid of all the players that um, bossed last season. What do I know? Excuse me. Equa. Onin. Ballard. Clogs that forward. Slid in behind, then looking for Bellingham, but easily poked back home by Ethan Ampadu. Uh, Leeds are making a meal of this. The Sunderland backline are all borderline red cards. Well, we've got Dan Ballard and Luke O'Neill both on yellow cards. Oh, here comes Jack Clark. Jack Clark in the box. It's a big opening for Sunderland. Oh, my goodness me. Ampadu with a brilliant clearance. If Jack Clark squared that, Pat Roberts had a tap in. Wow. That just proves that nil-nil, you're just a second away from getting counted. How good is that from Ampadu, by the way? He bails his side out there with a brilliant clearance there, Ethan Ampadu. And Sunderland could have taken the lead there, couldn't they? Goodness me. Corner to the Black Cats. Which Clark is going to take, left-footed. Bellingham heads it down. Half cleared. Uh, Neil gets the touch. Kamara closed him down. Equa. Equa has been robbed by Kamara, who's done really well and plays it down the line. This looks like a nice opening for Leeds now. Dan James in off the left. That is surely a foul by Bellingham. Dan James has been having the proverbial you-know-what kicked out of him in this second half. He got absolutely smashed, didn't he, James, by... Um, Luke O'Neill at the start of the half and oof, Bellingham's just gone right through him there and it's a free kick right on the edge of the box. Uh, goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Ihequa. Wow. Norwich looked like they were going to really, you know, take that one fairly easily going two up after 16 minutes. But Wednesday back in the game. Ihequa, 78 minutes. Uh, Norwich looking to hold on to another three points. They're currently in fifth in the table, Norwich. West Brom play tomorrow night against Rotherham. Uh, Alfie on TikTok, do I think Millwall will stay up? If they beat Leicester, definitely. <laughs> what a win that would be. Cree Somerville is going to take this free kick right foot. He's going to try and curl it. Looks like the wind's playing havoc there at Elland Road. And the ball won't stay still. It's been very, very windy across the um, across the country today. Ginge on TikTok. Score prediction for Borough Hull. I think I went something ridiculous, Ginge. I think I went like 3-2 Hull. I went for a very silly get, uh, silly one on the predictions with Sam, which are up on YouTube. Let me know yours in the comments. Thank you, everybody on TikTok and YouTube for keeping in touch. Right. I think finally Somerville has placed this. Looks like a nice position for his particular right-footed curling shots. Ooh. I wondered whether that had just neaked in the corner there. I think it hit the stanks and holding the net up behind the goal. Just drifted the other side of the post. In fact, it didn't hit the stanks. It just hit the side netting. I don't think the keeper was getting there, was he? Somerville holds his head. Uh, nice take by Dan Neal, who gets past Ruter. Oh, Ruter ah, Ruter's done really well. Gets back and wins that one. And here comes Somerville powering down the left. Don't think that was a foul, was it? He went down. Looking for it, I think. 
not given. Kamara wins that again. And Leeds are trying to build the intensity once more. But that's a giveaway by Ampadu. Ballard slides that forward. That's a poor ball. And he had two runners there with Roberts and um, Equa. And he couldn't find any of them. I'm just seeing the QPR goal now from Sam Field. It's a right med muddly goal. I think it was, was it Smith who couldn't force it over the line and then Field manages to. Ooh, Danny says in the chat, Preston 2-1. I just feel we're winning down there. So it's all turned around now. There was a point earlier in the night where Huddersfield obviously were above Plymouth and above Millwall. It's gone the other way now. We'll go to the live league table in a minute. What, what a night in the championship. Only six games. So much drama. Osmaic, thank you, Anir, with the update. Heath on TikTok, leads late goal. You would not put it past them, would you? Get the job done. Always quote Brian Clough before the European Cup final, the second one for Forrest. Just win. That was his team talk. Just win. No time for details. No time for tactics. Just win. It's all mental. Especially late in the season when European Cup finals are played. You've done all the work. Just win. Around Madrid 2, Man City 2. That's an equaliser for Man City in the Champions League. It's a good thing I didn't go to the live league table, isn't it? Have Plymouth equalised? My God, Plymouth have equalised. We're right back where we started, although it's still going to be a bad night for Huddersfield. Plymouth obviously need the point slightly more. Then QPR, I think QPR on 46, Plymouth on 43 going into tonight. Am I right? Or 44 and 46, 44 and 46, I think, going into uh, tonight. Free kick leads. Greer curls it in. Left footed flicked on at the near post, but um, someone's been whistled. I think Pat Bamford and Dan Ballard having fun again. 67 gone. We're going to see the Preston goal by Osmaic here. Dwayne Holmes crosses in. Lovely take by the forward. Gets across the front of his defender. Smashes it in. Oh, who did he bottle that tackle there? Dan Neal. Goodness me, in central midfield. Uh, proper 50-50 wheedled out of that one, didn't he? Some of the fans won't be pleased with that especially if Leeds can make something of this attack. Ballard can't quite clear. Root air on the volley. Um, it's falling down and he can't quite um, get any power on the shot. If Sheffield Wednesday equalised, my goodness me. Sheffield Wednesday have come down, come back from two goals down and they are now level two all with a very informed Norwich team. How long is there to go in that one? Probably only about five minutes plus stoppage time. What a win that would be if they could go and get another goal. Ginge up there on TikTok. Championship, honestly crazy every game. Uh, what This is why this is the best league in the world. It is this point of the season, just incredible, um, isn't it? Top and bottom of the table, all going on. You've got Coventry trying to chase Norwich. They're at 2-1. At Southampton, they need another goal, though. But it could have been a lot worse for Coventry and certainly could have been a lot worse for Wednesday, especially at that point where Huddersfield were winning and Wednesday were losing. Oh, here comes Hume. Hume right forward to the edge of the box and Firpo has been whistled. He must, he'll probably get booked for that if the ref thinks it's a foul. Uh, yeah, the yellow card comes out. I need to have another look there. Firpo doesn't think he touched Hume. I've got to say, it's a great run by Hume from right back. Hmm. Does he touch him? Let's have a look. It's hard to tell from there. I don't think he touches him, does he? I didn't see a conclusive replay. 
If he touches him, it's a yellow card. If he doesn't touch him, it's not even a foul, is it? And Preston have now gone 3-1 up, right? Asmaic with a second. Huddersfield have just collapsed in the second half. Huddersfield went in at halftime 1-0 up. They've conceded on 53, 48, sorry, 84 and 88. Uh, we can talk about Preston in terms of the playoffs as well. They'll go on to 63. As things stand, with Norwich having been pegged back, they would be five points behind Norwich with a game in hand. Free kick Sunderland right on the edge of the box. Pat Roberts and Pierre Equa are over it. Roberts with the left foot curls it through. Melier palms it away. Thought he might have been able to catch it, but he plays it cautious. Bellingham. Back it goes. Clark. Man City 3-2. Sounds like a hell of a game in the Champions League. Uh, they tried to find Onin there on the right wing. Offside flag goes up. It is nervy as hell. Tonight in the Championship. I think I might have been a bit harsh to Melier there. It's a good save, actually. Now I've seen... You got kind of an idea of his view there as that dipped down over the world. I said maybe you could have caught it. I think I'm probably being unfair there. Uh, Willie Nonto on for Glenn Kamara. That smells like an attacking substitution. That's a central midfielder out and a winger in. Leeds are going to go for it now. Is Nonto. We saw in one of Leeds games recently, I can't remember, it was one I was doing on Sky. Oh, here's James. James, oh, I can't quite control that. Uh, sorry, I should have mentioned, um, sub for Sunderland a few minutes ago, actually. Um, Alessio came in for Pembele in the back four. Here's James. Gray. Nice play by Gray. Give and go, Gray, into the box. Gray's blocked out. Excellent play from um, Archie Gray there from right back. Alessia blocks him out. Feels like that sub bringing Nonto in has just woken leads up. It's like, oh, the manager's going for it now. The players had better do so on the pitch. Corner goes in. Just goes loose for a second there. And Sunderland managed to clear 72-20. On the clock, a reminder, it is Millwall 1, Leicester 0 at the Den. And my iPad said there's 87 minutes played um, in that game. I think we're going to see the equalising goal for Wednesday here. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Set play to the back stick. Norwich have been really good on attacking set plays themselves. Uh, they all get caught under the ball and it's just headed in at the back post by Michael Smith. And Wednesday have got it back to 2-2. Two, two. And if you'd offered Wednesday a point in the first half, by the sounds of it, they would very, very much have taken it. Arsenal 2, Bayern 2. What a night tonight, guys. It's 2-2 two, two Arsenal, 3-2 Man City are leading. All going off in the championship as well. And it sounds like Preston have gone 4-1 up. This could be really, really damaging for Huddersfield tonight. They led. And not only have they given up a lead... They've been battered and take about Osmaic. He's got the hat trick for Preston. And yes, a very quick one as well by the sounds of it. Who was that lad for Bournemouth who got a hat trick in like four minutes or something stupid like that? Oh, slid into Dan James in the box. James sorts his feet out. James crosses outside of the right foot. Ballard gets in front there and sticks it in the stand basically for a corner. Very good from James there. Ballard does well just to, just to get in front. Good intensity from Leeds. Corner, Somerville goes short. James. James, nice cross. Headed out right into the six-yard box. Here's Ampadu. Edge of the box. Ampadu. Shooting chance. Ampadu hits it low. It's really poor. Drags it low. 
P roller wide. James Hater, that sounds right, Billy. Someone look up fastest hat trick Bournemouth. I'm sure there's a Bournemouth lad who scored three in like four minutes or something stupid like that. I always remember the Robbie Fowler one as well. Um, Liverpool against Arsenal. Incredible. Bang, bang, bang. That felt like five minutes as well. Uh, cleared by Patterson. Leeds now gearing up, you think, for a big, high-pressure last 15 minutes in this one. Oh, here comes Somerville now. Somerville into the box. Can he sort his feet out? Uh, it's just nicked away again, and Leeds are all over Sunderland right now. Every time they come forward now, uh, Leeds looking really dangerous. Good defending that um, by Luke O'Neill. And it's going to be another corner for Cree Somerville and Leeds. And it comes. Oh, here it goes by Rodon. There's a handball shout in there as well. I'm going to need the replay for the handball shout. The Leeds players are surrounding the referee. Let's have a look. Oh, it hits his hand, doesn't he? Whose hand is that Ballard again? I need one more look. I think it's a penalty, isn't it? Let's have a look. I think it hits his hand and he's got his hand up in an unnatural position. On Yes, penalty, isn't it? On Joe Roden's head. Um, so the arm's definitely in an unnatural position there. Leeds could add two penalties in this game. If they'd been VAR, I think. Um, Dan Ballard would have conceded two penalties in this game. Again, I'll give the referee a pass. How you can see that in normal time, real speed with 20 players in the penalty box. Um, it's just impossible. But I think in VAR land, I think that would have been given. I think the one in the first half would have as well in VAR um, land in the Premier League. Uh, here is Somerville, Nonto. Nonto pokes it outside of the foot. Uh, and Somerville has just fouled um, Trey Hume. Uh, difficult, but justice should be served. Well, I agree, Clive. Um, that's why I advocate VA. I'm an advocate of VAR. I know it's not perfect, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a no. When, when you, they've got a really good angle there, Sky, they've managed to get it in super slow mo. <laughs> Luke O'Neill's being very naughty as well. He's doing that afterwards. It's a, it's a definite penalty, isn't it? He's, you, your arm can't be in more of an unnatural position than on somebody else's head, can it? So it's a, it's a definite penalty, isn't it? Um, oh, I say it's a I know it's subjective, but. <laughs> You do well to argue with me that his arm's not in an unnatural position there. So, hey ho, seventy-seven thirty-five on the clock. By the way, it is still Millwall one, Leicester nil at the Den. What a nervy, nervy night. Uh, Osmo, it's eighty-four, eighty-seven. Wow. Take a bow. Um, Os Sorry, I don't know his first name. What is Osmaich's first name for, for Preston? He's got a hat trick in seven minutes. Sensational. Uh, Militin Osmaich. We'll give him his flowers. He deserves it after, sounds like a virtuoso seven minutes of football for Preston tonight. Three goals for Osmaich. They are 4 1 up against Uddersfield. Thank you, Paul. Real Madrid three, Man City three. Unbelievable. Uh, Bellingham. Ballard. Hume. What is he doing? He's probably 30 yards out on the angle as well. Goes for a right-footed shot. Blah. Way, way over the bar. And, you know, you just got to... They're under so much pressure here from Leeds. Suddenly, you just got to hold on to the bull there. Elliot, Leicester just had a chance cleared off the line. They've gone close by the sounds of it. Keep us across that one at the den. Elliot, big hello to everybody watching on TikTok. 
as well up on my mobile phone up there. We are loving the drama. Uh, Jack Clark trying to get away from Rodon, who um, does really well there. Uh, Nonto has fouled Callum Styles. He went down spectacularly there. Jack, a 90-second minute off-the-line clearance. Um, we just seen the handball. I mean, I think I decided about three replays ago that that should have been a penalty. But with every replay, that becomes more clear. I think Daniel Farker is going to the bench again. Joel Pirro is going to come on for Leeds with 10 to go. Gray. James. Oh, lovely ball by Nonto to Gray. Gray puts the cross in. Bamford leaves it. It's going to bounce for Bamford. No. And Patterson is able to gather it. Excellent from Gray again. Down the right-hand side there. I'm going to say it again. He's wasted as a fullback, isn't he? I know he's doing a turn this season, Gray, but definitely a central midfielder. Um, who did that come off last? Should have been a corner, that, shouldn't it? Hard to tell, but it looks like it was all the way out. Again, I'll give the officials a pass there. Impossible to tell in uh, real time. You're guessing at best at that speed, aren't you, with that many players involved? Valverde. Thank you, Ian. The goal scorer. For Real Madrid. Full time at Hillsborough. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Norwich 2 0 up in that game early, early on. But Wednesday, bringing it back 2 2. They'll be more than happy with that. Patrick Roberts uh, coming inside. He gets a lucky bounce. Roberts, lovely little dummy there, knocks it on. Um, here is Equa. Bellingham tries to put the cross in. He's going to bounce back. Ampadu hoofs it clear. 81-30 on the clock. Full-time Southampton 2, Coventry 1. Treble substitution coming for Leeds. Roberts, Joseph and Piru. Um, We saw Daniel Farker when he was Norwich manager do this. He is not afraid to go all-out attack. Lots of people said Norwich were lucky um, when they used to win games late in that season. But we've had enough idiotic comments about teams winning late being about luck. That Norwich team wasn't lucky. They were brave and very good. And he gambled and he's gambled now. Piro, Roberts and Joseph in for Leeds. Uh, Preston, full time, 4-1. <laughs> Eamon, West Brom back in our rightful fifth spot. It's theirs forever. 82.30 on the clock here. Still going at Millwall. Millwall 1, Leicester 0. Could be a giant scoreline tonight. Is Nonto. Nonto trying to get round uh, Dan Neal, who's done really well. I think it's going to be a corner, though, isn't it? No. Goal kick. Nonto thinks otherwise. My first instinct was that was a corner. But I need to see it back. 83 now gone. And it is full time at the Den. What a big result for both Millwall and Leicester. Millwall won, Leicester nil. Also a big result for a lot of teams at the bottom and some teams at the top. As well. So Southampton have made three points up tonight on Leicester. As things stand, Leeds are going to make one point up on Leicester, but they would love it to be three. And they've still got um, about five minutes. Sorry, excuse me, six minutes to go. Uh, Preston Norwich, suddenly a huge game. <laughs> You're not wrong about that, Chris. Uh, Strutty should be there tomorrow night. Fingers crossed. I've got permission. Uh, Kyle, Leeds look likely to score. Yeah. 
yeah, you can very much see Leeds scoring. Um, they've gone all out attack with their subs. They've got the pressure. Sunderland have been hanging in there most of the game, haven't they? Will Leeds get the late goal to go top of the championship? Leicester City have lost away at Millwall. Big chance for Leeds now. Firpo. Firpo plays it against Alesse and it is a corner for Leeds. They need a goal by any means necessary here, Leeds United. In comes the corner to the back stick. Ampadu gets first contact. Terrible header by Alessa. I think Ampadu's going to get whistled for a foul, isn't he? Sunderland defender just planted his feet. Ampadu leaned into him and got whistled for the foul. And we've gone over 85 minutes now. What drama. Remember, we'll probably get five minutes sort of minimum stoppage time. Maybe even more than that. Over on Bingles, by the way, we're onto the bonus pot. And I, it looks like it was close, but no cigar for me. Thank you as ever to Match Bingo for um, sponsoring the channel. Here's Joel Piru, first touch. Piru, nice ball out to Firpo. Firpo crosses in. Equa gets the clearance. Roberts is going to try and come away with it. Roberts goes down. He's never going to get a foul for that, is he? Rodon. Roberts. Roberts inside to Griff. Firpo. Firpo to Somerville. Somerville coming in off the left-hand side. Leeds just seemed to have an entire team of attackers on. Firpo. Ampadu. Attack against defence here. The tension is unbearable. Somerville curls in the cross. Ballard gets the header on it. Can Styles? Keep it from going out for throwing. No, he can't. Nonto, another lead striker or attacker, is over there. Roberts, he can hurl it long into the box. Don't think they're going to, though. Goes to Rodon. Leeds just attack against defence here. Sunderland, everyone behind the ball. Ruter. Piru. Piru somehow still got hold of it. Gruev. Firpo, Somerville, down the left, Somerville, Somerville's done well, he gets nudged, down he goes, I mean, Leeds probably should have had two penalties in this game, but that wasn't a third, I don't think, the arm's out, Somerville is already kind of going down, I don't think it's enough for a penalty, is it? But you've seen referees, they know that they um know that maybe they missed one and they sometimes um sometimes give the old makeup decision, don't they? 88 now gone. Here's Roberts for Sunderland. Equa. Equa, nice feet. So calm in the um intense pressure here. Big header by Firpo there into the um, right wing area. O'Neill hooks it away. And Firpo is going to take the throw in for Leeds. In it goes. Rutter trying to control it. <laughs> Magnetised to the ball. Rutter has he even got control of it. Um I've got to say, the Leeds players are now hitting the deck every time they go into the box, aren't they? Knowing that they've had a couple of penalty calls go against them. Ruta did just that then. Ballard um, takes the ball. 
bump into Ruta to be fair. And I think it's going to be a corner, isn't it, for Leeds? 89-20 on the clock. Nervy, nervy, nervy stuff, this. In comes the long throw. Excuse me, it wasn't a corner. Headed down. It's going to fall to Ampadu. Ampadu tries to sort his feet out. Ampadu, Nonto, edge of the box. Nonto closed down by Alessa. <laughs> Everyone's in the box. Gruff knocks it out wide. Somerville. A few players outside it now, of course. Somerville. Ampadu. Ampadu to Nonto. Nonto deflected. Oh, goodness me. The keeper was completely buried by that deflection. And it just flies wide. Oof. It's Luke O'Neill got his head on it. And it's a corner to Leeds United. We're now into stoppage. It's only three minutes stoppage time. Um, it comes the corner. They've won their header on the back post. It's over the bar. I'm surprised there's only three minutes stoppage time. I had it at five. It was Firpo who won the header. And we are, and Daniel Farker is enraged about the lack of stoppage time. I tend to agree with him, actually. Not that I'm enraged about it, but hey, it's not my life's work <laughs> um, managing a football team. So. We've now gone over 91. There's two minutes of minimum stoppage time to play. Leeds nil. Sunderland nil. Dave, congratulations, Dave and the Millwall fans. A gigantic win for Millwall over Leicester City tonight. Melier goes long. Ballard gets the header. Piro, there's about seven strikers on for Leeds at the moment. Firpo. Firpo puts the cross in. O'Neill heads up in the air. It's going to be another corner to Leeds. 91-39 on the clock. Everybody forward. Rodon says, slow down one second. In comes the corner. Sunderland get first contact. And Jack Clark gets his first touch in about 20 minutes and just boots it. Into the other half. There's nobody there. 92 minutes up on the clock. Leeds need a goal. Ampadu has got it. It's attack against defence. It has been for the longest time in this game. Roberts. Roberts to Somerville. 40 seconds. Minimum stoppage time remaining. Somerville, nice ball. Out to Ruter. Ruter brings it down. Beats his man. Ruter crosses it in. And that might be that. He's put it out. And I make it 25 seconds left. And Sunderland have got a goal kick. There's probably one phase of play left in this game. Very wisely. Sunderland are going to make a substitution. And we're going to be going up and Probably towards 94 and a half, I think. Bellingham is coming out. And Semedo, Luis Semedo is coming in, or him here as he wears, on the back of his shirt. I make, there's one phase of play here. I think Leeds need to win the ball and score immediately or the final whistle's going to go. Patterson taking as long as he can without getting himself booked. Probably still another minute left. The goal kick comes long and Semedo actually wins it for Sunderland. And then they've given it away in central midfield. Crazy. And Leeds will have one more attack, I think. Nonto. Gruev knocks it forward. Piru's chasing through. Patterson does well. Falls on the ball. And I think referee Robinson is going to blow the whistle when this is up in the air. Daniel Farker looks on. I think he knows the whistle is about to go. 
94-10 on the clock. Nail biting drama. And there is the final whistle. It is Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. Elsewhere, Leicester have lost tonight at Millwall. Leeds maybe could have had two penalties in this game. They were not at their best, not clinical at all. And they have dropped points. They have got one more point than Leicester got tonight, though. Leicester lost. So it is a very good night for Southampton, who have won at Coventry. And Ipswich Town, who play tomorrow against Watford. The door has opened up. Leeds and Leicester have both slipped up tonight in a nail-biting night of championship football. Wow. Unexpected goings on in the championship. We said it would get nervy, didn't we? We said there would be twists and turns. And by God, there have been twists and turns tonight. Look at that from Millwall. Millwall won. Leicester City nil. What a win for Millwall. We'll go to the league table in a minute. What a horrible time to lose away for Leicester City. They go to Plymouth. On Friday night as well, Sam Parkin's going to be covering that one. Plymouth 1, QPR 1. We will uh, look at the table again in a minute. Horrible night for Huddersfield. Preston 4, Huddersfield 1. Huddersfield were leading at half-time in that game. And they were level um, at 84 minutes. Osmaic getting a hat-trick in seven minutes at the end. Norwich were 2-0 up and coasting. And they got pegged back 2-2 there. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Norwich 2. Coventry missed the penalty at 0-0. Southampton scored twice. Coventry got one back. Southampton 2, Coventry 1. And I don't know why they haven't got the Leeds scoreline up there. But we all know, because we just watched it, Leeds 0. Sunderland 0. An incredible night in the Championship which means Southampton are the big winners tonight. They make up three points on Leicester and two points on Leeds. Leeds have moved into second place, though. So if Watford beat Ipswich tomorrow, this will not be a bad result for Leeds. They've just got to match or better. Sorry, they've got to better what Ipswich do this round to get above them. Excuse my throat. Let me, sorry, let me just put one more um, cough sweet in my... In my throat. I'm struggling, guys. We've only got a few minutes to go. There we go. Big chance for Ipswich tomorrow night at Watford. I will be at the game. We're just seeing Ryan Longman's incredible goal for Millwall. How about this? Whack in the top corner, bar and in. In the playoff picture, Norwich looked like they were taking fifth place. Got pegged back by Wednesday and drew 2-2. Coventry lost, though. So Norwich still very much in pole position. But look at Preston. They've now tied up with Coventry as well. There is, however, a five-point gap between Norwich in sixth and Coventry and Preston in seventh and eighth. Down at the bottom, Wednesday looked like they were having a really bad night, but they will absolutely take a point. Um, sorry, I'm just seeing the... Own goal. Oh, God, just bounces in off Albert Adoma at the back post. The own goal to equalise for Plymouth at QPR. We'll talk about that game in a second. Let's work up from the bottom. Birmingham are now 23rd. But were Birmingham to even draw tomorrow night against Cardiff, they will be out of the bottom three in 21st. Look at the goal difference. Sheffield Wednesday have moved up a place. They play Stoke in their next game. Unbelievable. Huddersfield, bad night. How bad is that going to be for Huddersfield's morale? They were winning and they went under 4-1. Plymouth, they'll take a point. They'll very much take four points from their last two games, which is what they've got. Rotherham, they beat away from home. They've drawn against QPR. It's all OK for Plymouth. They're in a dodgy looking spot, but they've got 45 points. Look at those totals, for God's sake. Nobody is safe still. Down there, you're only a three game losing streak away from relegation in this running, aren't you? Blackburn and Stoke play tomorrow. Stoke play Swansea, Blackburn play Bristol City. The big 
winners down the bottom. The only winners tonight, Millwall, not only are they the only winners tonight, they bet, beat Leicester City, the leaders in the championship. Unbelievable. Let's go to some comments before we wrap up uh, for the night. What do we got here? Uh, Sean. Uh, cheers, Ben. Good commentary, but need a lay down. Uh, Blake, criminal officiating. I know what you mean, Blake. I think you you have to differentiate between Leeds should have had two penalties and that being bad officiating because both of them are so hard to see in normal time. That's why I'm an advocate of um, VAR because VAR would have picked up those penalties and helped the officials out. Um, but I take your point. Um, in the end, uh, Preston in good shape for playoff contention. I've written them off so many times. I'd love to see him do it just to prove me wrong for sure. Fark's having, Fark, excuse me, is having a rant at Gruitt. I don't think he deserved having a rant at, but um, there we go. Uh, great night for Ipswich. It was only a great night for Ipswich if they can beat. Watford at Portman Road tomorrow night. I will be at the game. Elliot, fair play. He stayed in the chat, updating us on Leicester all night, bless him. And a horrible result, dreadful result. He says, the only thing we can do is forget and push forward. Uh, only a great... Well, of course, this is exactly what I just said. Yeah, no advantage if you don't take the advantage. So people try and talk to me about parachute payments and say, oh, but so-and-so didn't get promoted. And I'm like, well, yeah. Go figure, Sherlock. An advantage is only advantage if you utilise it. You know, if you give me a 10-hour head start in a race to drive from Ipswich to Glasgow and I sit in the cinema for the first um, 12 hours of it, I didn't use my advantage. Um, there we go. Oh, Sam had 1-1 um, one, one QPR, did he? Uh, deary me. Right, Stephen. Um, Stephen, unless you apologize, I will block you from the channel immediately. Um, if you say I'm chatting crap, you can F off, mate. Um, so apologize now, or I'll block you from the channel and you won't be able to commentate. Don't you dare express your opinion and insult me. Okay. Um, so I'll give you a few seconds to apologize. If not, I'll block you now and you won't be able to um to comment again. I will not anyone, and nobody has tonight. I will not, I've been brought up this way, be spoken to like that, okay? So, okay, he said bye. So, yeah, you can be blocked and you will not be missed. There we go. Apologies, we have to end on that. I don't get why people can't express their opinion without um, giving insults. All I said was um, it's hard for the referee to see these things. And I said VAR would probably have given both. So, um if you're struggling with your emotions in the chat, please, please don't comment. My emotions are okay. I've done this before, but I will not ever be spoken to and try and speak to my face like that. I tell you what, you won't like it. There we go. Um, Steve, love you, Millwall. Only we could lose to the bottom team and beat the top team in a week. A Smith, first time I've had a good day as a Southampton fan for a while. There we go. First winning four for Southampton. They were the big winners tonight. Right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Incredible night in the championship. Leicester lose at Millwall. Leeds draw nil-nil um, against Sunderland in the watch-along. Big, big win uh, for Preston, 4-1. Sheffield Wednesday come back from 2-0 down against Norwich. Uh, Southampton 2, Coventry 1, and as we've done on the watch along, um, Leeds 0, Sunderland 0. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will be at Ipswich Watford uh, tomorrow night, and um, hopefully we'll get a vlog out early on Thursday morning. I'm having a day off on Thursday. Um, thank you, everybody, also, for watching on TikTok. Um, I will close you down on... Uh, TikTok now. Appreciate the hell out of you. Appreciate you all in the chat. Thank you for the super chats. Oh, another breathless night in the championship.